Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Saturday the 18th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got up this morning fairly early-ish, uh, not really anything major going on, just got woke up, so got the dogs out, um, got them all situated and figured out, and all the good fun that comes with it. It was a little more interesting because I had a um, young little hyper puppy, and then I got the dog that doesn't get along with people still, so I had to kind of keep them separated out and all that good fun stuff but I got everybody fed got everybody back in got everybody out whatever needed to be done um jumped in the hot tub for a little bit had a couple things to get taken care of ended up hearing from the um ornery dog owner who was supposed to be here at like four o'clock they ended up getting in early and they wanted to come pick the dog up early and I said absolutely we can make that work just give me a heads up on when you want to do that so they went ahead and reached out and came pick the dog up went smoothly everything's great uh, they've only got the dog for like two days. I think we get the dog back like Monday, Tuesday, and Monday. We get the dog back. I think it's Tuesday. And I was like, yeah, whatever. So um, informed them on how I went and get it, get them. Uh, from there, headed back in, headed to play with the dog some, kind of hang out with them. And the puppy has been trying to play with the old pit bull. And the old pit bull really is in playing with puppies. He's just, she's not really that dog. She's old and just kind of, kind of like Bruce, doesn't really give a damn about the puppy at all. So it's been really interesting watching how it goes down. But had a couple things uh, finished up in the morning and decided to go ahead and decided to go ahead and get my run in. So went ahead and got that taken care of because we had a couple things to do on else going on today. So got that run in, got back, got my shower. And then basically, um, the people supposed to pick the pit bull up tomorrow in the afternoon and they said they were getting in early they were going to pick the dog up today and they said it'd be about four o'clock and i said okay well i've got a um event i'm going to so i probably won't be here i said i'll be back by four o'clock is why i figured i'll be back by around that time and um we could pick it up for that or they could pick it up for my mom and they said he'd just you know pick it up early he said he'd be back here by like noon and i'm like okay I can wait till noon to take off to the event. It won't be a big deal. So I kind of got a couple other things figured out, got the stuff all together, got ready to go. And then after my shower and I was waiting around, kind of would have taken off to the event a little bit earlier, but I was waiting for them to get here. So I reached out and it's kind of that time frame. I'm like, okay, now I need to know where you're at. And they're like, oh, we're like a couple hours out still. And I'm like, okay, well, it's almost noon. Like, what the fuck? Like, okay, whatever. So I went ahead and put my shit together and said, well, you just, you know, I'll be back by four. If not, give me a heads up and then we can, I'll let you know basically what time, you know, you're going to be here and mom give the dog back to you. Not a big deal. So I thought the puppy's annoying, which with the other dogs, we're supposed to have three other dogs here this weekend. That one got canceled and some other stuff. Another one went home early and stuff. But we had the crate for the puppy if we needed to, because the puppy can get a bit just a bit annoying at times. So I just told mom, I said, put the puppy outside, put it in the crate, give him back the dog. It's all good to go. And then went ahead and we headed over and the event was a, um, a beer fest i guess we would call it tom and dan helps uh, i'm not sure who puts it on but tom and dan's like the corporate sponsor thing of it they promote it a lot for the people and there's like 40 different breweries I think, that show up and give out samples of some of their more common beers and often more of their really weird um, strange beers they're trying out see what people's feedback and stuff is and i am not a beer fan so there's a lot of me tasting stuff and pouring it out and i keep telling them just give me the tiniest bit. Like, my wife doesn't really care for beer either. So we keep telling them, like, they got, like, one-ounce glasses. They're not very big. Maybe two-ounce glasses. But they're pretty small anyway. We keep telling them, like, no, like, half of that glass. Like, a quarter of that glass. Like, hardly any. We don't want this stuff. So we end up tasting a lot of beer and throwing a lot of beer out. But it is what it is. So we got over there with plenty of time. It starts. The actual event starts at 2. So they give out sample cups at noon. We ran into a handful of our other fellow podcast friends that we're friends with. Bumped in a few people here and there and kind of chatted with people off and on. Um, was able to pick up a custom painting that I had made for my wife as a Christmas gift. Um, part of the um, fan club, I guess we're going to call it, or group of people who all want that are on that, that um, podcast. We have a Facebook group and stuff with a bunch of us. So I had reached out to um, a few of the artists in there that do custom work and whatnot. And this is the third member in that group that I've bought custom art from. So went ahead and had that um, picked up. I haven't seen it. I told him I didn't want to see it. So don't send me any samples or anything like that. Don't send me any pictures and just wrap it up. So he wrapped it up in some brown paper for me and basically grabbed it, finished painting him for it. And then we headed around. I went and ran it back to the car with the rest of the knickknacks and 
garbage they give us with the sample cups. And then two o'clock started, they started pouring beer and went around bumping into people and just talking to people and having a good time and chatting with others and stuff and just people we don't see very often except at other Tom and Danny events kind of thing. So, but we um, hung out there, had a good time. There was two beers we liked. They're super sweet. They're almost like Kool-Aid there. One's called like a creamsicle and one's like a rocket pop, I think or something. And they're pretty good. And then there's a, like a white claw type um, seltzer that it's like truly, I don't know how much it's called, but um, without take my had it. And I'm like, I don't like, I hate white claw. She goes much better. So I tasted it and it was, it was all right. It was just not my thing. So definitely not the drink I would choose to drink, but we got wrapped up there. I wanted to, there's a thing called a corn cake, which I don't know, it's like a weird like cream corn mixed with like cornstarch or something that's basically grilled up into like a grilled cheese. It's kind of a strange little setup. And it was eight bucks for this little tiny, tiny little donut sized thing that we had it. And I guess they used to have at the racetrack when she worked at the racetrack a lot, volunteering herself with the, the selling shirts and whatnot. And never to get one for whatever reason. And so she always kind of wish she had. So they had them here, so we got one of those. And I ate a quarter of it, and it was that was more than I really wanted to eat. And then she ate the three quarters of it. She seemed to like it a lot more than I did. So, but we wrapped up there, um, headed back to the house. And since um, their dog got picked up at, like an hour, at 1.40, instead of being there at noon, he got picked up at 1.40. And since that happened and went through without a problem, I had nothing to worry about. So I was able to hang out longer at the event. So we hung around there, uh, bumped into some other people, we, like Jimmy and stuff, and Tori and that, saw them for a little bit. And just kind of chatted people, Tony and a bunch of them and whatnot. So, but from there we headed back home, um, got the house, kind of chilled out with the dogs for a bit. Got the puppy some more playtime in because now the puppy's just stuck with Bruce. There's no one else for him to play with. So gave him a lot of extra loving. And then I headed out, uh, kind of skipped dinner, so I wasn't hungry. And skipped dinner. And then um, I ended up heading out to go to Port Orange to a buddy of mine, I guess. I've met him a handful of times. Been on a few cruises and stuff together and whatnot. So went up with him and there was 10 of us total end up playing poker at a guy's house up in Port Orange, but it's like this weird little, where he's located, it's a really weird spot. I gotta drive way out of nowhere to get back to his house, because it's kind of like the dead of a cul-de-sac, and it's so weird, there's no real easy access to it, but got there without any issue. Um, we're up in there, I think the cars are supposed to start at like 7.30, so got there 7.22, I think, when I rolled up in. So I got there, played poker for the night, we did like a little tournament style, everybody bought in for the same number of chips, and then basically played for a few hours. Um, Ended up, um, once I got knocked out, I didn't look like going home yet. So I went ahead and I hung around, I stung around and dealt for a little bit. So I kind of became the designated dealer. And the table is just a regular kitchen table. And everyone's when you chuck its cart off the table and whatnot. And it's kind of a weird layout. We I mean, really should have moved seats. So I could have been more in the middle of the table because I was way down at the one box corner that made it hard to deal from. But didn't think about it until afterwards. I should have just changed seats with one of the other guys. But had a good time. Uh, it was interesting just with a bunch of guys I don't really know. I barely know Paul, but, you know, didn't know anybody else at all. So it was kind of fun. Had a good, you know, event there. Wrapped that up. A bunch of other guys were getting knocked out. So I kind of used that. I, just, I, was, I told myself, if you guys are hurting and get knocked out, I'm kind of done dealing here. I want to go home. So I'll wait for the next person to get knocked out so I can see somebody go. Uh, have a, you know, though I'm leaving, I see somebody else lose also. And kind of laugh about it. So and it got down to where there was only a few guys left. And everybody's still sitting at the table so it gets confusing to deal because you can't kind of forget who in the hell is in who's not in and all that kind of thing so it's a little bit of pain in the butt but other than that headed back to the house um like i said the back roads i took are kind of i don't know they're kind of windy and not well lit not well marked kind of thing so that little bit of not knowing where i'm going was not the most um enjoyable drive in the dark but got back to the house and it was late enough i probably should have went and just went to bed but I know how my brain works when I've been driving. I, my brain is so focused on not falling asleep, you know, that I know I can't go to sleep right away. Anyway. So I grabbed the puppy, took him outside, because I knew with him, me coming back in, he was going to be excited and wanted to play something. So we went outside and played for a little bit, took Bruce out, let him hang out there with us for a little while, and he was kind of mad because it was dark and it was kind of cold, so he didn't want to be out there. But we hung out there for a little while, ended up finishing a cigar, and watched a little bit of YouTube. Headed back in, grabbed myself a little bit of chips. My wife and I watched an episode of Cheers. It was way later when we're normally up. But everyone's wanting we do that. We just stay up super late for no reason. So that's what ended up happening. And hung out there, finished up my chips, wrapped it up finally, and called it a night. So that's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. 
Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.